Hello everyone and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. We're glad that you've joined us today. And I hope that you'll take time to share this out on your social media platform. It will help you to be able to get the word to others concerning the signs of the times that we're living in. There is certainly much skepticism and right here on Prophecy Files Briefing we get our share of those that are cynics and scoffers and mockers and those that absolutely outright reject the word of God. But you're doing it in the face of what is happening in our world. And what's happening in our world? Well, according to the latest reports, even today, uh, Republic First Bank seizure signals more bank failures to come, according to experts. Uh, one article says, the fear of that being contagious uh, is a very uh, telling and dangerous thing here in 2024. Not only that, but the World Economic Forum has let us know that 98% of the world's banks are preparing for programmable money. What does that mean to you and me? Well, if it can be programmed, it can be programmed for a deposit or withdrawal, there's no doubt about it, or to stop it altogether. What does that mean into the future? Uh, I certainly don't have the, the answers to all of that. It just is a telling sign of the times that we're living in, and especially what we're watching on the college campuses of the United States, where in just today, uh, there has been what would be a breach, a, a break into the dean's office and complex there on Columbia University, and it's happening in multiple locations as anti-Semitism is rising to a level that we have never seen in the United States of America in a long, long time since World War II. There is no doubt about it, but this is really an unprecedented moment because even the very laws that we have here in the United States concerning free speech uh, is something that has been hidden behind with all that is happening in a lawless mentality and an anti-Semitic uh, ideology. So that begs the question for today's Prophecy Files briefing, can America stay united without a common set of core values for us? Why is that? Because today there are many people that are creating their own ideology and rewriting their own values to the degree that uh, just anything goes. And what people call evil uh, is supposed to be good and what good is is supposed to be evil. You're seeing that take place and the Bible said that that's exactly what would be taking place in the last days. As a matter of fact, in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 1 through 9, the Bible clearly states to us what would be marking the times and the seasons uh, that would be in the last days, that last days uh, referring to the imminent return of Jesus Christ. And it says that people would be lovers of themselves, uh, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, uh, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of good, treacherous, verse 4 says, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. And the admonition to those that are believers is, have nothing to do with them. It goes on to say in verse number 6, these kind uh, who worm their way into houses and gain control over weak-willed women, the Bible says. It's a uh, metaphor used there who are loaded down with sins and swayed by all kinds of evil desires. Verse 7 says, always learning but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. And he gives examples. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7, For the mystery of iniquity or lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then that wicked shall be revealed. That wicked is a term, a title for the Antichrist. When the church is moved out of the way, when every believer is raptured off of this planet according to the scripture, and you can read it right there in 2 Thessalonians, you can read it in the book of Timothy, you can read it over and over again as the rapture is described in multiple places, the pre-tribulation rapture, and then that wicked, the Antichrist, will come to power. All of this has to do with the changing of morals and changing of values and core values. You know, there was a time past, and even as I was growing up as a child, that there were common uh, values that were biblically based, 
that set the precedent and set the atmosphere, the environment of the, of the United States of America, where there was a uniting underneath these core biblical values, a core set of values. But today people are creating their own ideology. C.S. Lewis made this statement, the diseases that will certainly end our species if it is not crushed is the fatal superstition that men can create values, that a community can choose its ideology as men choose their clothes. So we as a nation have done exactly what C.S. Lewis is saying and warned against. And in fact, you can see that in the Word of God where the Bible says in Judges 17 and 6 that uh, in those days, the days of the nation of Israel's uh, time of the judges as found there, there was no king in Israel and all people did what was right in their own eyes. That's what you're seeing today. These are signs of the times. As a result, America today is facing a crisis of values and core values that uh, some people are describing could bring on civil war. Tragically, this deterioration of values has already impacted and is impacting those that we come in contact with and the influence that we're able to have over their life. First of all, as the Bible describes, we're to be salt and light as believers. But if the salt loses its saltiness, its values, its core ideas and set of values from, from the Bible, then where is it that the salt is going to come from? What effect is it going to have? So as a believer, as salt and light into this world, our very influence and presence should cause an unbeliever uh, to be able to look at their own lostness and their need of Jesus Christ. Unfortunately, most people are sensing that there's something very, very wrong in our land, and yet there doesn't seem to be that uh, salt and light as it needs to be to affect that kind of change, to show the sinfulness of society, and at the same time, uh, be able to have a core set of values from the Word of God that is guiding our world today. It's every man doing what is right in their own eyes. So because of the lack of biblical knowledge and perspective, society has gotten to the point right now, where we are right now, is wondering uh, what's happening? How can I escape? How can I, uh, how do we get to this point and how can we escape this kind of madness? Well, I can assure you, the Bible tells us clearly in Philippians chapter 2 that we may become blameless and pure, children of God, listen to this, without fault in a crooked and depraved generation in which you shine like stars in the universe as you hold out the word of life. That's the commission, the mandate for every believer to give hope and to be able to give uh, the light of Jesus Christ in a dark place. I would encourage you like never before with the degrading values and uh, that are happening in our world that is showing up on college campuses and multiple other places. I would encourage you as a believer to look to the Lord, to pray, stay true to the Word of God, and make the influential changes that can happen in your sphere of influence with friends and family to help them come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Till the next time, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon.